stand united as one. Uh, I know this this is this club is a perfect opportunity for people to grow and people to God. I just thank you for this opportunity we have. And uh, please bless us with stay right now with God. Peer pressure to date in high school was huge. 
I mean, the fact that you need a girl by your side to look cool or somebody to lean on, like, if you don't have that girl, it's like a social status thing. It's like, I found myself dating a girl for a year. She was an amazing girl, and I love her to death. But in the Bible, it says not to be unequally yoked with an unbeliever. And I found myself falling away from the church, falling away from my friends, and I found myself doing my own things. And about a year later, God said, no, this is not how it's going to be. And he brought me to my knees. And I started to kind of get back on the same track again. So as soon as I got back onto the same track, I mean, it's been an issue, we just fall back into the same sin, different sin. And uh, I was lying about a ton of different things. I mean, anything you could think of, I was lying. And I thought I was invincible, and I thought I could get away with anything. And right around the time that I was lying, I got the bright idea to plagiarize my research analysis paper, which I think is possibly the worst thing that you could possibly do. And so I probably ruined my whole high school career because of that, but it's all right, we're going to get through it. But um, I found myself like two weeks in school suspension. I found myself just backtracking, talking to principals, you know, but eventually, I mean, I got through it and God showed up and he took me out of that time of my life and he brought me to my knees and made me confess my pride and realize that, hey, I mean, you're not, your sins are going to fall anywhere anywhere. You're not invincible. You can't do it without me. And really the third thing, I mean, many of you know I play basketball and basketball is probably the most important, well, third most important thing in my life. It's just like, I just eat, sleep, and drink it. And last year, I've been promised so many things on the basketball team. I've been promised playing time. I've been promised a uh, starting position. I've been promised so many different things. And I found myself riding the bench the whole season. And halfway through the season, I was just like, you got to be kidding me. Like, I was just ready to throw in the towel. But that was about the time when God showed up. And he's like, hey, I got other plans, you know? He pretty much showed up. And he showed me that, hey, basketball's not the only thing going on in your life. There's so much more opportunity. I mean, the lifelong friendship that you have with these guys on your team and the influence that you have on them is going to be forever. I mean, I could be here, tear my ACL tomorrow, and I mean, what, had, would have, what has basketball gotten me? You know, it's really, I mean, things like your relationship with your friends and your relationship with God are far more important than, I mean, basketball will ever be. And that was definitely a life-changing moment for me last year, as soon as I grasped that. So today I just want to leave you guys with like three things that have really changed my life um, and really helped me get through and be where I am today. The first thing is church. I mean, I'm not just talking about Sunday church, I'm talking about Wednesdays and youth group and getting plugged in. I mean, I got like my youth pastor Poncho and my small group leader John. I mean, they're just constantly sending me texts all the time to see what I'm up to. They're constantly meeting me, they're keeping me out of trouble and they're just keeping me in line. And it's really important to have that type of leadership around you so that you can keep yourself accountable. The second thing is friends. Like friends, I mean, I think you all can relate to that. That friends are the most important thing in your life. Because I don't know where I'd be today if I didn't have Robin or DJ or Adam. And it's, they're constantly just people I can lean on to. When times get tough, it's just they're there for me to back me up and they're there for me when I need them. And the third thing, I mean, the most, by far the most important thing for me is prayer. I mean, so many times in my life I've like been doing it on my own, but as soon as I call it, cried out to God, I saw God showed up. And God has shown up and um, just taken me out of so many dishes and just um, really changed my life because of prayer and the prayer of other people too. So I just wanted to give you guys those three keys and that's really my testimony. So right now if I have you guys stand up, I'm going to have my youth pastor come up. I'm just going to close with some prayer. Let's do this. Let's everyone just bow your head real quick. Just close your eyes and just... Ask the Holy Spirit to just speak to us. Sometimes when we hear other people's testimony, you know, it's uh, different things will speak to us different ways. And it's no small things when a couple people come up here and open their heart and share what's going on in their life. And I just believe as Josh was sharing his testimony, what God's done in his life, there's probably people in this room that are facing some of the same pressures. Maybe you're facing... Uh, you know, pressure of school, pressure of friends, pressure of, of different things in this room right now, and you just uh, had a place where, like Josh, where he came and he said, you know, I need to uh, hit my knees and just do things a little bit different. If you're here today and you just realize that maybe you haven't been living life according to, to God's word, according to His will for your life, with every head bowed and every eye closed right now. Can you